fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Skull Mountain! The revelation that Daniel, the 14-year-old boy he had met in the North Country, was in reality his own nephew, pleased the Lone Ranger very much. Now, instead of two horsemen, there were three who rode the high border trails, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan. They made camp at the foot of Eagle Pass. Because the trail was covered with a thick crust of ice and snow, the Lone Ranger decided to rest the horses before attempting such a steep and dangerous ascent. I don't want to ask too much of your pony. Oh, if I could just ride a horse like Silver. You think you could, Dan? Oh, sure. I've been wanting to ask you to let me try. Try uh, to ride Silver? Yes. <laughs> Silver, plenty big horse. I've ridden everything around the high border country. I'd just like to show you that I can. Go ahead, Dan. Well, you... You mean I'm to try and ride him? The fall won't hurt. The snow's soft. Fall? Oh, I won't fall. Oh, golly, wait till I show you. Steady there, Silver. Steady, boy. Steady now. Go ahead, then. Do you uh, want me to hold him for oh, you? If he'd only stand still. <laughs> Maybe you want leg up, huh? No, I don't need help. <laughs> there, I'm aboard. Well, hang on. He won't get rid of me. I'll... Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Him fall off, Silver. <laughs> Steady, boy, steady. Oh, golly. Are you all right? Yeah. Just got a neck full of snow, that's all. Now, the horses from the south country aren't as quiet as the ones here in the mountains. Why, Jiminy. You just let me try to ride, Silver, so I'd see I was bragging too much. Well, not at all, Dan. I simply wanted to find out how well you understood horses. Did you have much of a chance to ride? Well, not very much. Once in a while, Graham let me ride over to Skull Mountain. I... Say, we're right near Skull Mountain. Yes? Why? Well, Mr. Conway lives there. He's an old friend of Graham's. I, well, I, I don't think he knows that Graham's gone. Oh. He lives there with his daughter. She, She's about my age. What does he do? Oh, not much of anything. He's been prospecting all his life, but never found anything. I'd like to see him for a few minutes. Now? Well, not if it'll delay you, but... Oh, I hate to leave the high border country without saying goodbye to him. He was always a good friend. Tonto... What do you think of the sky? Well, plenty snow and clouds. It fall maybe after sundown. I think we might as well plan to camp here tonight instead of trying to cross the mountains. Ah. Then, can you be back here by sundown? Oh, sure. Sure thing. 
Do you know the trail, snow-covered as it is? Oh, I don't have to follow a trail. It's easy to find the Conway place by landmarks. I'll be back by sundown for sure. All right, we'll wait here. Sam Conway sat in his cabin with a grim, set expression on his face. His daughter watched him as he loaded his six guns. But, Dad, you've looked worried ever since last week when those three men came here. Oh, shucks, it'd take more than three deadbeats like Jay Booth, Lefty, and Cole Henderson to worry me. What did they want? Oh, nothing. I guess they were nosing around the assay office over in Elktown and got wind of the report of those ore samples I took in. Did you really find gold, Dad? I think so, Nancy. After all these years of prospecting and starving, I I think I've finally made a strike. Where is it? Well, that's something I'm afraid to breathe to a soul. Not even you. Until I've registered the claim. And I can't do that until next spring. Why? Because right now it's buried under ten feet of snow and ice. But I've got it mapped. And the map's right here next to my heart. I think it's wonderful, Dad. And if it turns out like you think it will... Why are you worried about those men? I tell you, I'm not worried. I just... Say, I, I thought you were going over to Carter's farm to get some milk and eggs. Well, I was, well, but... Well, then run along. Are you sure you'll be all right? Well, of course I will. Now go on. Now, I'll wear my heavy jacket. Pretty cold outside. Uh, wait a minute, Nancy. Aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? But I'm only going over to Mrs. Carter's. I'll be right back. I know, but give your dad a kiss anyway. Just for luck. Why, yes, Dad. I... Now run along. I don't think she suspects anything. The less she knows, the better. Poor little tyke. Just like her ma used to be. Worries all the time. I'm just a mite worried myself. Booth and his gang of cutthroats show up. I'll... Here's somebody now. I'll keep the door covered. If it's that thieving coyote, Booth, I'll... Go on, knock. And when you get tired knocking, walk into some lead. Hello, anybody home? Oh, Mr. Conway, Danny, I... what are you doing here? I'll feel better if you'll point that gun the other way. Oh, excuse me, son. I... Uh, shut the door. Guess I'm lucky I didn't shoot. Where's Nancy? Well, I sent her over to the Carter Ranch on an errand. Well, I... I just came by to tell you and Nancy goodbye. Yeah, where are you going? I mean, does your grandma know you're leaving? Well, I figured you hadn't heard. Grant... Grant's dead, Mr. Conway. No. Well, I'm sure sorry to hear it, Dan. Really, I am. You mind if I wait around and see Nancy? Oh, not at all. I... No, no, no. You'd better run along, Dan. Why? Well, I... That's why, son. But now it's too late. Get down, hug the floor. Who is it? Why are they shooting? Wait, wait till I say a few words in the kind of talk those buzzards understand. Well, those last ones were pretty close. You better stay away from that window. They're closing in, Dan. All three of them coming down the slope, see? Who are they? Some sidewinders led by Jay Booth. Oh, if I could just... What's the idea of shooting? I struck gold, son. Real gold up on Skull Mountain. These hyenas heard about it, and they know the claim ain't registered. So they're trying to scare me into making a divvy with him. Well, how can they do that? Like they're trying to do now, with lead. I'm sorry you walked into the sun. I figured it was coming, so I got Nancy away, but... Well, I didn't know about you. Oh, that's all right. The thing to do now is get out of here before they... Uh, not a chance. They're too close. And I can't pick them off back of those rocks. My pony's sits in back of the cabin. I can sneak out that way, then ride and get help. It wouldn't do any good, Dan. I haven't got enough ammunition to hold him off. Well, what are you going to do? Give up. Only thing I can do. Unless... Oh, wait. They don't know you're with me. Here. You take this map. If anything happens to me, take it to the land office in Elktown. Somebody's and... coming. It's Nancy. If she starts to come in, they'll... Wait! I've got to stop her. Remember what I said about the map, Dan? All right, you murdering scum, you win. Dan! Stay there, Nancy. Don't move. Why, I... You're coming, Conway. Lay the map on the ground and walk back to the cabin. I haven't got the map. I said lay it down. Mr. Conway. Danny. Hey, look, Booth, another kid. I'll ride for help. Hey, take Nancy with you. The map, Conway. Hand it over. Uh, 
It, it's in the cabin. Well, get it. Nancy, Dan wants you to go with him. You'd better hurry. Sure, come on, Nancy. But I... Now, oh, wait a minute. You kids ain't going anyplace. Cole. Yeah? Keep these sprouts covered while I go inside with the old man. Sure. All right, Conway, let's go. I can't understand why Dad... I do. Your dad wants us to get away. Now, when I make a break, follow me. Hey, stop gabbing, you two. Hey, look, Nancy. On the trail from Skull Mountain. Isn't there somebody heading this way? Ah, you local kid. There's nobody Run, Nancy. Get to your horse and run. Come on, Nancy. Ride. What? Get up, boy. Get up there. What happened? That kid, he drove from my legs and tripped me. Then he and the gal hightailed it. What? They let a couple of brats like that get away? They got away. Good. And I suppose they're carrying the map. That right, Conway? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Cole, where's Lefty? Holding the draw with the horses. One of those kids got the map of the gold mine. They're riding for Elktown. You and Lefty get going and hit them off. Sure. What are you going to do? I'll follow you. I've got a job to do here first. You'll never catch him, Booth. Yeah. That's what you think. The mine belongs to me, every bit of it. And you don't know where it is. I'll find out. It belongs to me. And it'll be registered in my name. Oh, no, it won't. Cold and Lefty, you'll get those brats before they're a mile away. But I'm still here. Not for long. And where you're gone, all the gold mines in the world won't do you any good. You mean? I mean this. Wait, Nancy, we've got to stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa boy. Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa. What are you stopping for? Let's hurry to Elktown and tell the sheriff about those men who are making death. We will, but we got to stop here first. It's the highest point between here and Eagle Pass where I left my friends. What does that mean? Here, help me break off some branches of this dead scrub pine. We'll build three fires. Dan, if you think I'm silly enough to stop and build fires while those men are threatening it's dead... It's a signal. With... There. Now they'll just burn. Oh, there's one of them. It's the second one. And now for the last one. There. Now I'll pile some of those green pine boughs over there so the smoke will be dark. I'll help you get them. Here. Thanks. I hope he sees it. It's starting to snow, Dan, and the wind from the north. I know. That's why the signal's so important. What do you mean? Well, from the smell of that wind, we're in for a blizzard. There. That's the last one. And we have to cross the ridge to get to Elktown. We may need help. Will your friends come? If they see this signal. But, Dan, we can't wait out here in the open. It's so cold. Look, and... by the big rock over there. There's a hollow. It'll make a windbreak for us. Go on, I'll stake out the horses. Oh, Dan, I, I hope Dad's all right and that your friends find us. Well, so do I. And while you're at it, remember this map I'm carrying and hope those outlaws don't find us first. Otto. Uh -huh. Look, you west, right by Skull Mountain. Isn't that smoke? Ah, uh, that signal for help. It's Dan. He's in trouble. Weather plenty bad. Wind blow hard. Blizzard come. That makes it worse. We've got to hurry. Steady, Silver. Uh, easy, Scout. Easy. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Dan, I I'm scared. Well, no reason to be scared. We're safe here no matter how high the snow drifts. Do you still have the map Dad gave you? Sure, right here in my pocket. Well, let me see it. Uh, here. Are you sure this is it? Well, that's what he gave me. Look, it's nothing but a drawing of a skull. Oh, that's right. A skull with two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Dad must be joking. This can't be a map. Well, he knows what it means, and that's all that matters. Look, Dan, skull's left eye. Dad's drawn it, so it's almost winking. Yeah. Wait, 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 Dan, wait. look, men on horses. Oh, I knew they'd find us. Here, we're over here. Wait, wait, wait. Gee, I'm glad they found us. Here! Well, look at this. You! Oh. What is it, Cole? Shits we're looking for. Oh, boy, oh. Steady, boy. <laughs> With old man Conway's map right in their hands. Hand it over, kid. I'm not going to give you this. Hand it over before I put a bullet through both of you. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Having seen Dan's smoke signal, 
The Lone Ranger and Tonto urged their horses into the stinging drive of a blizzard that swept suddenly out of the north. There's a cabin, Tonto. To the right. Ah. Must be Sam Conway's place. Ho, oh, pussy. Oh, oh, oh. right. The door's open. No one here. Ah. Oh, look. A man on ground. Almost covered as snow. Yes, he's... He's dead, Tonto. He's been shot. Oh. Him, Conway, man Dan, come to see? I don't know. There's no one else around here, Kimosabi. Dan must have sent that signal from further west. Wind put out fire, snow cover trail. Tonto, we'll take care of Conway and then find Dan if it's the last thing we do. Cole, we've got the map. Let's get out of here. Maybe I ought to plug these two just for luck. Sure, you've got a tight <laughs> hand and foot. Shut up. Come on, Cole. Snow's piling up so fast you won't be able to make it to Booth's shack. Never mind those kids. Uh, I guess the weather will take care of them. Sure. Why waste lead? Freezing's easier and cheaper. We'll get out of here. You wish you'd never seen Hey, us. listen, kid. That wind you hear is a northern. That means 40 below before morning. The only way you'll get out of here is in pieces. Like an icicle. <laughs> uh, come on, Cole. All right, I'm coming. Don't cry, Nancy. We're still alive. If they didn't gag us, we can yell. Oh, what good lad do? Nobody can hear us. My friends will come. They couldn't find us in this blizzard. You don't know my friends, Nancy. It'd take more than a blizzard to stop them. <laughs> Half blinded by the stinging snow and strong wind, the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed a trail they could hardly see. Tonto led the way with an Indian's true sense of direction. Although swirling snow made everything invisible but the trail beneath them, he headed straight for the mountain slope where the signal fires had been lighted. Huge snowdrifts and the force of the wind slowed their horses' pace to a walk. Easy, Slaver. Careful, boy. <laughs> At least we've reached some level ground, Tonto. Ah. Uh. This close to place where signal come. We could only see. Did you hear that? Oh, me not hear. Listen. It's Dan. It must be over to the right tunnel. Uh -huh. Watch out for the snow. It's deep. Steady, Silver. Uh -huh. That Dan. We find him. That big rock. See? Ho, Silver. Ho. Scout, ho, fella. Ho. Come on. Uh -huh. Dan! Dan! We're saved. He isn't an outlaw. He and Tano are our friends. Your hands and feet are tied. Who did this? Two men named uh, Cole and Lefty. Here. They stole a map to Mr. Conway's gold mine. Map? Well, that's what Mr. Conway said it was. But Nancy and I looked at it. It's nothing but a drawing of a skull. Uh, oh, I'm freezing. There you are. Tonto, did we pass an empty line shack on the trail near here? Huh. Come on, Dan. You and Nancy ride with us. Now, where are your horses? Over there in the pines. We'll back trail till we find that cabin and build a fire and get warm. I've sure got a lot to tell you. We'll find the cabin first. Come on. A few hours later, the Lone Ranger, Dan, Nancy Conway, and Tonto were seated in front of a roaring fire they had built in the huge fireplace of a deserted trapper's shack. Dan had just finished telling of the events which led up to Mr. Conway giving him the map. Then Nancy and I rode as hard as we could toward Elk Town. When it started to snow, I stopped and set the signal fires. And Mr. Conway was alive when you rode away from his place? Oh, yes. Alive? I... You mean Dad? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid so, Nancy. Not only I found him when we stopped at your cabin, he had been shot. Oh. oh I'm sorry, Nancy. Tell me about this map that Mr. Conway gave you, Dan. Well, it wasn't really a map. It was a drawing of a skull, that's all. That's strange. It, it was a map of Dad's gold mine. It must have been. He told me about it. Well, what did he say? That he'd finally made a real strike, but that he couldn't register the claim until spring when the snow melted. He didn't tell you where the mine was located? No. We only knew we could probably find the men who murdered your father. They can read the map. They're on their way there now. I don't see how they could find anything by following the drawing of a skull. I wish I'd seen it. If it would help, I'm sure I could draw one just like it. I mean, I think I can. Good. Now, wait, Nancy. There's a pencil and paper. Well, all it was uh, was an outline like this. There, see? Just like the head of a skeleton. With eyes and nose and mouth. There, that's all. Hmm, I see. Oh, wait. One eye was sort of drooping. 
almost like a wink. Which eye? The left. Well, maybe Mr. Conway just meant the map for himself. Didn't want anybody else to figure it out. Yes, but it meant something, or he wouldn't have asked you to file it with the land office. Otto, is it still snowing outside? Uh, let me see. Oh, no stop. Bright moon come up. Good. We're only a few hours till daybreak. We'll all get some sleep here by the fire and start hunting first thing in the morning. You mean for the men that killed Nancy's father? Yes, Dan. Well, how will we know where to hunt? They're trying to find a gold mine by following a map. Well, we have the same directions. It's up to us to solve it before they do. After Dan and Nancy Conway had fallen asleep in front of the huge fireplace, the Lone Ranger and Tonto went to the lean-to in back of the cabin to make sure that Silver and the other horses were made as warm as possible. And they stopped a moment to look at the snow-covered valley that lay below them. Bright moonlight brought out every detail of the scene. Eagle Pass, where they had camped that morning, was dwarfed by comparison with the broad face of towering Skull Mountain, which blocked one end of the valley. The masked man could easily see why the peak had been christened Skull. With its bony outline and under the covering of white, the mountain did resemble nothing so much as a giant death's head. The Lone Ranger eyed it intently and thought of the map Sam Conway made. Suddenly, he turned to his Indian companion. Hello. Huh? The trail covered with snow. How long will it take us to ride over to Skull Mountain? Mm, three hour, maybe four. Good. We'll leave for there at daybreak. We not hunt for crook? Unless I'm mistaken, Tato, that's where we'll find them, over on Skull Mountain. Oh, me not savvy. I've just discovered Sam Conway's gold mine. And at that same moment, three other men were also standing in the moonlight, looking at the mountain shaped like a death's head. Give me that map again. Here. It don't make any sense to me. Conway must have been local when he drew that. Well, that's the trouble with a fellow that spends a lot of years prospecting. Gets kind of loony Shut up. and... Well, what's wrong, Booth? We spent plenty of time for the last two weeks trying to get a line on Conway's strike, ain't we? Well, sure, but there's a thousand places here in the valley where it might be. That crazy map don't help none. Pack the horses. Be sure to bring mining tools and blasting party. Have you gone loco, too? No, Cole. I've just discovered Conway's gold mine. <laughs> following morning, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Nancy Conway, and Dan made the long trip across the snow-covered valley to the base of Skull Mountain. There, the Lone Ranger called a halt. Oh, Silver, oh, Skull, oh, 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 oh. You won't notice the resemblance this close, Nancy. But from a distance, Skull Mountain looks a lot like the tracing you made of your father's map. I thought of that when I first saw Dad's drawing. See how those odd patches of fur and spruce trees could be the skull's nose and mouth? Yes. Well, where's the part that makes the eyes? A large round space of limestone and granite, about three-fourths of the way to the top. See it? It does look like an eye. Well, that's the, the right eye. There's nothing for the left one. Now look closely, Dan. Directly opposite to the right is a large overhang covered with snow. I... Oh. Oh, yes, sir, I see it. And the way the snow is piled up makes it seem like the eye was wink winking. Oh, and the eye on Dad's map. That's it. And I'm sure that's where your father's gold mine is. We'll go up and see. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get up, boy. This is as close as we can go, oh, Silver. Oh, Scout, oh, 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 Come on, we'll climb over there and find you out what's... You won't climb no place, mister. Unless you want to stop some lead. Well... I expected you, but not this soon. Cool. Who are you gathered with? An hombre wearing a mask. And there's an engine. In. And the two kids. That is a surprise, isn't it? Hey, what's going on? Mask man. Outlaw, huh? What do you want here? I'd like to ask you the same question. This is private property. You better move along. This is Sam Conway's gold claim. Conway? Who's he? The man who staked this claim and signed the map you have in your pocket. Pretty smart for an outlaw, ain't you? Smart enough to recognize a murderer when I see one. Uh, you better not try it. Him cold. Ah. I warned you. Oh, my arm. The next will hurt more. Hey, I didn't. Now hand over that map. Here, here, take it. Thanks. Now. It's all set, Booth. I used a short fuse, so we'd better. Oh. Who's this? 
Another one of the gang? Come on, Lefty, Cole. We're getting out of here. Getting out? You heard me. Get the tools back. Booth, I, I can't. I can't go back in that mine. What do you mean? I just set the blast like you told me. It'll blow any minute now. What? You set a blast under an overhang as large as this one? Booth told me to Get set... out of the way. Hurry. Come on, Cole. I'm coming. Not that way. You're running right in the path of the... <laughs> I'm not hurt, Dan. Those men, where are they? Under several thousand tons of rock and ice. They ran directly into the path of it. Oh. They were the ones that killed Nancy's father. Yes, I know. They died because of their own stupidity. They ran right into the explosion. Even though they were bad, I'm sorry they were so unlucky. That wasn't luck, Nancy. It was justice. Well, let's ride into Elktown and file a gold claim for Sam Conway. Here, Silver. I... I don't know what to say. Easy, steady, big fella. <laughs> don't say anything, Nancy. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Steady, boy. <clears throat> Get up there. Dan, why don't you tell me? Tell you what? Who is he? Why, I thought you knew. I thought everybody knew. He's the Lone Ranger. I'm Silver! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 